Hello and welcome to my contribution for the 2008 Project for Awesome. I'm Liz from Sister Salad and I'm very excited to be participating in such a worthy endeavor. Taking over YouTube while promoting world-changing charities. Seriously, they don't call it the Project for Awesome for nothing. I was originally going to promote World Vision as my charity of choice. World Vision is an international Christian humanitarian organization committed to addressing poverty and injustice around the world. They have projects aimed at disaster relief, child sponsorship, and community development. I once took a class led by Tim Dearborn, who's their director of faith and development, and was really impressed at the way he described the approach World Vision takes. They emphasize working with local community members to figure out what's really needed and to do work that's sustainable by the community itself. I really think that's the best way to operate, and I think World Vision is a great organization. They have a ton of ways to give on their website, like you can donate the money to provide a family with a goat, or you can contribute to a well, or malaria immunization. There's a link in the sidebar, and I totally recommend you check it out. But that's not actually the cause I'm going to devote this video to publicizing. I just finished this really amazing book called Three Cups of Tea, which is the true recounting of, as the subtitle puts it, one man's mission to promote peace one school at a time. The book, which you should definitely read if you have a chance, is about Greg Mortensen, a nurse and mountain climber who went to Pakistan in 1993 to climb K2, which is considered by most climbers to be the most difficult on earth to summit. He came within 600 meters of reaching the top but was forced to turn back without completing his goal. On his way back down he got lost and ended up in this tiny mountain village called Corfe, where he was taken in, fed, and given a place to sleep. When he found out that the village had no school and that children knelt on the frozen ground while practicing their multiplication by scratching with sticks in the dirt, he committed himself to somehow addressing this need. Fifteen years later, he managed to not only build a school in Corfe, but over 50 others in Pakistan and Afghanistan, not to mention organizing countless development projects in response to other needs he encountered in the process. The story of how he accomplished these seemingly impossible tasks in such a remote and volatile region is compelling and inspiring. Mortensen is driven by the belief that education is the key, not only to opportunity for the children he encounters, but also to peace in a place where extremist groups take advantage of poverty and helplessness to recruit followers and engender hatred and resentment. He's also committed to respecting the local culture, getting to the needs of the people he's trying to help from their perspective, and working with people from all backgrounds, ethnic groups, belief systems, and walks of life. His work exemplifies what I think are the most necessary ingredients for the kind of world we should all hope to live in and be trying to create. The first thing we have to do is be aware that there's a world outside our own personal concerns. We need compassion for people we've never met, and a belief that all human beings have value and are worthy of having their basic needs met. But that's not all we need because compassion, no matter how strong, won't actually address the specific needs that exist in the world. We also need understanding, awareness, knowledge of what's out there and how things work and what people need and how they can get it. And we need people willing to make the effort not only to find these things out, but to connect the people in need with the people who have the power to help them. There are enough resources in the world to provide for the people who live here. There are people who want to help but don't know how to do so. People like Greg Mortensen who are willing to step outside their familiar, comfortable lives to go someplace where people in need and spend enough time there to figure out what needs to happen, and then to pull together the people and the energy and the resources needed to actually make those things happen, make the world we want to live in, that seemingly impossible dream world, not only a possibility, but step by step an increasingly tangible reality. They embody what the Project for Awesome is all about. So kudos to Greg Mortensen for everything he's done and is continuing to do. And kudos to you for taking part in that same powerful, beautiful, world-changing process. The commitment to making the world a better place, and the willingness to set aside your time, your energy, your money, your comfort to actually make that happen, that will will make a difference. Sometimes I get overwhelmed by how big the world is, by how much is wrong with it, and by how little I can really do to affect anything. But the small contributions of a large group of people, each working in their own sphere of influence with their own talents and abilities, can add up and have an enormous impact. That's the principle by which the Project for Awesome takes over YouTube, and it's by that exact same principle that the Project for Awesome, on an even more meaningful and fundamental level, has already begun to take over the world. And I, for one, am excited to be a part of that. See you out there! Project for Awesome. Is better than a whole family of possums. It's even awesomer than that old sitcom Blossom. And I am a big fan of Blossom. That's just how awesome
from the project for awesome is it's even better than a possum on blossom I should probably mention that I'm a big fan of possums too with a stuffed possum till I was 22 So a possum on Blossom would probably be my favorite thing except for the project for Awesome. This online rhyming dictionary says that there's a word, fossum, and I don't know what fossum means. It's possible that fossum is even cooler than the project for awesome, but I don't see how that could be the project